Hello everybody, welcome to the Blood Bowl 3 Chalice, uh, round of 16, our first round. We've got Andre with his Dwarves up against Jekka with Chaos, and uh, let's get into it. Just having to go do this off of the uh, VOD from Andre, so you can check, I'll, I'll link his Twitch in the description, and you can check that out, Procedament. Procedimiento Illegal is their podcast that they do, the Spanish guys. And they kind of share the channel a little bit, I think, between a few of them. Um, and, you know, it's probably quite good if you speak Spanish. <laughs> I don't know if they do anything in English as well, but, uh, you know, there you go. Hello, Rugby. So, we can see there's a runner here with Sneaky Git, Dirty Player. Lovely. Um, there, with Russell as well. He's got Morgan Thorg because he's down a bunch of TV. And he's got a bias. No, it's a bribe, isn't it? Not bias ref. So, sneaky get, dirty player, and bribe could win him the game. Um, but he's significantly down TV, isn't he? This is a look at a pretty nice chaos team here. Uh, block, guard, mighty blow, claw, tackle on this guy. Block, mighty blow, claw, guard. Block, guard, mighty blow, cut. So, you know, a fair amount of claws. Um, He's very min-maxed. A lot of guard. Not a lot of mighty blow at all. Uh, only two mighty blow. But there is Morg who has mighty blow plus two. And you can argue that this kind of team is just better than a full team, can't you? Because Morg negates the need for um, <laughs> guards or assists or mighty blow as he just tries to kill something every single turn. <laughs> Very good to be <laughs> There might be a good ball carrier. He can't see stats, unfortunately. But yeah, this looks a pretty pretty good chaos team. No idea who Jekka is. But we do know that Andre is good from Blood Bowl 1 and Blood Bowl 2. Good at the bloody bowels, and uh, it's all just mostly going to come down to Morg, right? Can he, uh, can he hit him with Morg? Keep him protected. So obviously it's going to be pretty easy to 2D Morg um, with all of the guard and stuff. Hello, dear Hunter. So yeah, the limitations are with uh, streaming this is there's no Cabal Vision yet in Blood Bowl 3. Um, so just have to restream the broadcasts of the people who streamed it, you know, on their Twitches. So therefore, you know, can't really play their audio with <laughs> and talk over them. So, yeah. But you know, at least, it's, at least something's happening. It's better than nothing. <laughs> it's better than nothing. And yes, I mean, Blood Bowl 3 is a massive downgrade of Blood Bowl 2. But it does, you know, it is the newest game and it does have the newest rules. That's that's pretty much all it has going for it, right? And you may indeed think that the new rules aren't a good, point, a good thing. But, well, you may think the new rules are worse, but... It's pretty hard to about pretty hard to argue against the fact that having the new rules is better, right? That's the thing, unfortunately. So we go. We get the three D. And yeah, put him next to a guarder. Makes it pretty much impossible to hit him. Oh, it doesn't put him next to a guard. It. This way he can be one deed. I would have definitely put him next to a guard. But hey. Yeah, I mean, Mob doesn't break armor every time, does he? But uh, the odds are 
ever in his favour. <laughs> oh, stupid troll. I don't really know what the push down the side there is for. I mean, he's got plenty of time. He's got plenty of core mighty. You can just start banging stuff out, can't you? Just fight around the midfield for a long time. That's all I'd want to do is the chaos. Also, I wouldn't want a troll, right? I think troll is a decent starting option for a team. But really, the ogre is just better. Like, a lot better. For 30 TV. Andre probably not going to stand up. These down players just use them as a little screen. Which is pretty good. Honestly, if I was a uh, Jekker, I might start dodging out that Beastman on the floor next to Morg. And then just literally jam in three guards and 2D Morg. With Claw Mighty. Might have been. Might have been his best chance. You want to pile in as the chaos here, right? You've got you've got strength advantage. You've got plenty of guard. Get in and use both of those things. There's not even mighty blow on the dwarf team to worry about. So I think this passive. If you if you think you're you're far enough ahead to win without getting rowdy, maybe it's okay. But, oh wow, he dodged away and then retagged Morg so that to hold up Morg for a turn. The problem is your armor rate, so there's a good chance Morg just deals with you. <laughs> it's interesting because these are res as well. Uh, another limitation of the format is um, it's just literally impossible to run tournaments. So. <laughs> <laughs> leagues or tournaments in Blood Bowl 2 so um, <laughs> so, <laughs> so this is being done by friendly matches <laughs> but it is cool that the you know community have made it happen right we're going to foul here probably right that was real weird from Jekka there just allowed that guy to be isolated I mean he isolated himself right he just ran him up for no reason. And now he's going to get fouled by a sneaky get dirty player. Not what I would do, but who can say if it's good or bad? Moore gets a stun. Really quite sad that they've kept the same animation despite losing the mug, isn't it? And it looks pretty pathetic. Well, there's, there's not much following Deer Haunter. There's hardly anyone playing it. But yeah, I mean, the following for the game is um, is from tabletop and everything, isn't it? More than the actual video games at the end of the day. As a video game, Blood Bowl 2 is bad. And Blood Bowl 3 is terrible. But underneath those things, there is the game of Blood Bowl, which is... You know, even Blood Bowl, like, it could be... It's caught between being competitive and being fun, isn't it? And, uh... So it's, a, it's, in a, it's a weird game, Blood Bowl. Like, it's so very nearly a very competitive game. But it's not. <laughs> and it's got all these kind of, like, crazy fun things. But then it could have more of those. And completely shed the pretense of being competitive, right? Or it could... It could shed some of the wackier things, and then uh, be more competitive. Like it could just do one or the other, right? But it's just stuck in this weird, this weird space that it's in, where it's a bit fun, a bit frustrating, and a bit competitive. <laughs> Hall Pendo, yeah. So what happened? So it came out in nineteen ninety four, right? And and the turnover mechanic is genius, right? Like, that is actual genius, the turnover mechanic. 
and then uh, it was the Blood Bowl Rules Commission that tried to make it over the years, like over several years, they tried to make it more competitive. Um, but like Jervis Johnson didn't. So it's interesting and now Jervis Johnson is involved, so who knows what people will do. Well, there's just some, some mechanics, right? Some mechanics just make it. And, you know, two, like, you know, kickoff events, etc. The nature of D6 makes it a bit too wild. Things like that. There's things that you could do to make it more competitive. And obviously, people can be competitive. Like, you know, people can be competitive, right? You know, like if you, you know. If I were to play Elliot in two weeks' time in Era of BB, you know, we'll both try to win and it'll be an interesting, fun game, won't it? You know, but it's just lacking a lot of things. <laughs> Ultimately, Blood Bowl. And like, it, like it's. I don't know. It just is what it is. It's so frustrating. Like, I think it being so frustrating. Is a bit of a mistake. <laughs> like I think they could definitely soften that side of it, and I think everybody would like that. But unfortunately, there's a lot of people who've like played a long time that want to kind of gate keep it being miserable, which seems stupid, but it's true. So there we go. Get the knockdown there. That looks like it's going to make it for 2D on this Beastman, but you know anybody could be strength up. No idea. He's not strength up. Following, so he's going to foul, right? The follow there isn't a very good foul. Uh, if follow up, the follow up there isn't a very good follow up, except with a foul, it means it gives him an extra assist. So this should be a two assist foul, right? By the by Blood Bowl 2 rules, but because Guard works on fouls, we've got an extra 3 assists. No armor break, no sent off because it's a sneaky kit. Outrageous. Well, it depends who you mean by they, right? A rook by. Jervis Johnson didn't, but the Blood Bowl Rules Commission did. So that's why it's kind of been. So it's kind of been pushed and pulled in two directions at once. And I think, you know, somewhat accidentally, um, Jervis Johnson laid the foundation for a competitive game. <laughs> you know, like, the, the turnover rule is, is just magic, really. It's just what makes the game, doesn't it? It makes it fun and makes every dice roll exciting. Exciting's a strong word. But, uh, <laughs> you know what I mean. <laughs> Suspenseful. <laughs> Hello! Hello! Fine here! How are you, sir? Fine, I'll bend that. Just finished it at the gym, so. Yeah. Oh. But so that you were streaming, so I passed by. And also, I see the. It's a Spanish uh, stream, the one you are uh, re streaming. It so is. maybe, you know, the viewers want to know what it means. The message is on the screen. <laughs> well, yeah, yeah, yeah. There's, there's different things, isn't it? Like injured or whatever that just said. <laughs> exactly, you know. And, uh, that meant the, the player got injured. <laughs> there you go. Value the armor or something. <laughs> yes, that the armor value. That the hold on, you know. Is, uh, <laughs> Exactly, you know, it's clearly uh, so different that the English version. The, the... <laughs> Probably you guys were absolutely lost. <laughs> I didn't have a clue, to be honest. So, yeah, thank God you're here. Glorious. <laughs> no, it is really cool to hear, though. Thank you very much. Uh, no worries. Okay. Uh, what a question from uh, J5. Jesus, the price of saffron in Spain. <laughs> okay. That's a random question, isn't it? I haven't got a clue of the cost of saffron in England. 
Uh, uh, and he had some ounces there, you know, zero, zero, three ounces. So I need to check how much that's in uh, ounces to grams. So that's zero point zero zero three. That's zero zero eight grams. Jesus. <laughs> And uh, so, stay fantastic. Dollars. Look at that, <laughs> Lesionado. Lesionado. Injury. <laughs> that means injury. <laughs> Badly hurt. Mm. Magullado. So yeah, he's. His advance got squashed a bit, so he's gone back in the middle. This isn't a great drive from the chaos, to be honest. Um, he's in a bit of a pickle. I think uh, Johnny Five that the price in Spain is around half that. <laughs> half the price of uh, the the leather because he's a. Uh, 10 euros the gram, so 10 uh, gram the kilo, so that makes a 0, 0, 8, uh, 0, yeah, much cheaper in Spain, in Spain. Mm -hmm. Also any paella that demands uh, expensive stuff is not a true paella, paellas are a cheap food for the people. He's into his bonus time now, is Jekka. Thinking about what to do with this last uh, last beastman. Or maybe he's just having a poo. Walking the dog. Eating some Who dinner. Knows? On a hot date. Watching Netflix. <laughs> Ask, asking for a refund. <laughs> asking for a refund and move on, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, it's now Andrew Stam. 3D from Morg. Is that a wrestler he's blitzing? Yeah, it was a wrestler he's blitzing. He should probably have gone for the defenseless guy again, in my opinion. Just, you know, really want to get the removals. Dot obviously really doesn't want to wrestle himself. That would be terrible. Or he could have gone for the higher value warrior. Turn four is gonna be turn five for the chaos. So the chaos still have time. They do. Oh, go. Uh, unless, unless obviously uh, a tragedy happens. <laughs> yeah, and he's still over the right side a little bit, but I guess so. The chaos a little bit. I mean, they haven't got a lot over the left side. And Morg's on the left side now, so well, they're still centre. But do you know what I mean? Like it's the left of where they are. Yeah. Yeah, can still get claw right. They can still they can still claw mighty. Claw mighty isn't as good as it used to be, but it's still all right for twenty TV claw. Having a couple, I wouldn't have a whole a whole team full like uh, like the Nurgle team in the competition. But you know, having a couple is is all right. Especially like with this infinite ball that we have. Like there's no redraft or anything, so teams can get as big as they possibly what like you know as they possibly can. So in that regard, then eventually your team would look like uh, the Nurgle team if you could. So I think he's going back round the uh, back. He should be going back to the right here, right? Because uh, Morg is tagged off. So with Morg being tagged off, I quite like trying to get back round to the right here. Lesionado! <laughs> oh, injury there! Lesionado! <laughs> oh, up <apple> use! <laughs> Mm. 
Lizionado, I thought it to me sounded like the uh, <laughs> like a very ill member of the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Fantastic mix of culture there. Talking about the cultures, this game is going to be dedicated to our viewers in Brunei. Oh. Ooh, they speak Malay there, and uh, they have the Brunei dollar as the national currency, the national flower is the Shimpor, and the national dish is the Ambujad. And I think Brunei is a country where the, the king, or uh, the name of the person is in charge, I don't remember exactly, pays its citizens because it's a very rich country very small but very rich wow sultan in it the sultan of brunei the sultanate of brunei yes <laughs> this uh one two three four five six right he's, he's blocked his path by standing there he could have been one up and then he could have got one down um but i guess it doesn't really matter but i would have still liked him to have been one forward i even could have just moved this guy first right and then moved him so a bit of a Bit of a mistake in my opinion, but that's only my opinion, which isn't doesn't you know, isn't worth anything. <laughs> Maybe you should get this warrior out to like here or something. Yeah, that's the same square highlighted by Andre. You could also go here. If he goes here, then he's like making lots of connections there's lots of connections going there but then i, I kind of like going out a little bit wider and then also this guy he can carry on basing people or he could run around a bit maybe he's run around a bit it's pretty good we could run him to there and then the warrior to there you know something like that but he's just left him up i'm not sure about that because the door like this guy can't move anyway unless more kits first and then they only move one when they do move anyway right so i think I think this guy could have definitely moved around. I think that would have been better. So this guy could have been a bit forward. Warrior could have been out, and the ball could have been a square forward. He's taken that away to get the 3D with Morg. Wow. I guess this means Andrew's playing for overtime? Because that is not how you stop this touchdown. <laughs> no, no, no. I thought that player was going to be more useful. In fact, yeah, that's it. The uh, abandon. Uh... He's just going to play for the Lesionados. <laughs> KO. That means KO. <laughs> Thank you very much, Fami. <laughs> <laughs> abandon the drive, abandon ship. Punch him in the dick. <laughs> Punch him in the dick. Armor break. KO. What, what, and what does that mean? KO. Knockout. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Bizarrely, they're both yellow teams. What are the chances of that happening? That's pretty crazy, isn't it? <laughs> Luckily, one is chaos and the other is dwarf, so it's you know easy to differentiate the. Uh... Oh dear. So yeah, that's uh, interesting that he gave up on the drive there. Is in this like going too much to the side that they're necessary? Yeah, you definitely want to like layer it out, right? Because he's kind of tried to abandon it. You don't want to give him a chance to like put any pressure on, so you can just yeah keep it all quite layered, quite layered. Like you could go. Yeah, but you know, there. being being so close to the uh, line, I don't know, to the sideline, I don't know. No, no, yeah, you want the the ball off the line, and then like all sorts of shit around it. This is a bit crap so far but I mean he's only moved two players but it's still a bit crap so far <laughs> oh, three players he'd move I 
I'm going back to the saffron thing with the unified. I'll tell you that it's so incredibly expensive because the flower of the saffron, where you can take the actual flower, only flourishes in the morning and sunrise and for a very few short time and then dies. Wow. And you can only pick it by hand and do everything by hand. The most expensive spice in the world and it's the oldest one known. It started in India and then traveled around the world and it's the king's spice. Wow. What about old spice? <laughs> yeah, exactly like all spice. <laughs> <laughs> but the pharaoh I'm reading that the pharaohs of Egypt use uh, saffron you know to add uh, smells to their baths to show how powerful and rich they were wow very educational stream there you go <laughs> and now you can buy it for uh, some dollars What about saffron burrows? <laughs> Look, by that's a very specific uh, compare you use there. <laughs> you know, it's like uh, very specific, maybe too specific. As Boston legal, I didn't know how I knew. I didn't know how I knew saffron burrows, but it's Boston legal. There you go. There you go. Boston Legal. What a show. Epic. Brilliant. Glorious. Yeah, yeah, I can't believe I never watched it until recently, but yeah, what a show. And it gets better every season. Mm. Another punching in the dick, armor break. <laughs> it's so bad that they don't use the beam mug anymore, isn't it? But they say have the same animation, that's Oh that's it's, grim. It's a everything that could be said has been already been said, Jimmy. Mm. Yeah. Correct. Well, Uruguay, the uh, funny part is that James Spader, James Spader in uh, Boston Legal is the same James Spader from uh, another uh, legal uh, show that was uh, before made from the same guy. that They, they share the same universe. Mm. And Ali McBeal. <laughs> James Spader. Pretty much just plays himself. <laughs> he appears in the office and everybody, oh, it's so intense, so intense. <laughs> Doesn't, uh, you know, the pro was good there, right? Gave him a free chance to, uh, you know, he could just reroll the skull. Rather than uh, pro change now, so it's a 3 plus instead of a 4 plus. And rather than both dice, you could just reroll one, so you could just reroll the school. So it was a, it, the pro is good now in terms of just like fishing for extra knockdowns. Yep. He's still I, after I all think... this. It's still, it's still a six plus hit to surf him. Like that's just no excuse for this, is there? No, it does. Is a, uh, and uh, Andre has rerolls, so it's a thirty percent. Now is a little no. Yeah, now it's a bit harder. Yeah, now it's harder. Can't see, just can't move the, <laughs> can't move the uh, camera, but... Got some hits here, but not with Mighty Blow, but he, does, he will have the uh, foul at the end of the turn. And obviously, not the more kit has ultimate Mighty Blow. Mighty Blow plus two hasn't really done anything this match, but, you know... It's good, believe me. <laughs> yeah, no, it's really hard for me to hit the ball now, to be fair. That extra beastman got in the way very well. Hit the defenseless troll, or, or just try and hit the, uh, the kind of better warrior? Or 3D? Mmm, 3D. Reroll that. Oh, but uh, but no. Now it's kind of you kind of want to leave your rerolls for the last turn. Yeah, he's gonna reroll it. Jesus, wrestle. So it's 
three assist foul on the warrior. No, oh, four assists. No, three assists. <laughs> I can't count, don't mind me. Hit the troll, no result. Still have another turn to hit things. Lesionado! <laughs> Lesionado! <laughs> Uses the apple and sneaky kit TP is pretty good, isn't it? Get it, Cocky. Join us on a restreamed broadcast of Blood Bowl 3, trying to get caught up to the uh, to the tournament. The uh, semi-finals have already been played, to be honest, uh, for people watching on YouTube. <laughs> but uh, it was just really, I was really far behind because it was the first week of Chalice, uh, like, you know, the round of 64 Chalice. And then there was... Uh, There's so many tallies, so many tallies. Uh, yeah. A man can only do as much. Yeah, and then Fimey and I were both at NickCon at UKTC, so that like that that took like you know the biggest week the biggest weekend was like there was like you no know, God knows how many games on Blood Bowl two, loads of games on Blood Bowl three, and then it's all just been catch up since then, and the return of the JFW haven't created characters for that, so it is, yeah, it's been super busy. <laughs> Another KO. Hmm. In English, that's KO. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> and that's touchdown, which uh, that's the same word in Spanish than in English, touchdown. Oh, there you go. <laughs> yeah, so one nil the chaos. And obviously, uh, Andre just pretty much playing the long game there from early on, just started fouling and uh, not defending. And it worked. I don't see many wounded or the the chaos players. Or... No, he uses Apple, but uh, yeah, it didn't it hasn't really worked out, has it? <laughs> well, there are a few there are a few dwarves that are uh, wounded, mm. lesionados. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, there was a few lesionados. <laughs> um, is there a chalice already for Bubble Three? Yes, it's been made by. The community, uh, Yakastai and the admins, um, well, I think he's an admin now, the admins of the CCL, but like I think it was his more or less initiative um, and with the existing admins, and they've uh, they've made this happen, so they had a top 16 of the ladder, um, all got through this tournament, and this is the first round. And the second round will be the quarterfinals, and then we'll be in the, you know, the semi-finals are all, all, all all ready to play in real life, so that's very exciting. Super exciting. The most exciting thing ever. <laughs> I don't think I can be a hype man. <laughs> Woo! Woo! me, guys! Anticipation, that's a... Uh, what's the one that allows you to move one square? Uh... Oh, quick snap. Quick snap. Yeah. I, I don't know why I was looking at the other team. Because I was, we've seen him do the quick snap. We've literally seen him move those guys in. So this is quick snap. You can't, you can't quick snap with the. Uh... Oh, there are some parts that have been translated. There was the the bounce of the ball. You know, and instead of seeing a, a, the whole phrase in Spanish. Bounces is still in English. Oh, so it's about... That's bizarre, isn't it? Cyanide half assing something? I find that very hard to believe. <laughs> <laughs> and in comes another big gang foul. No, he's not fouling, he's keeping it for the second half. Because if it's just a rubbish player, right? That player isn't even going to be fielded in the second half. 
So, big half now for the Chaos. If, if they can shut out Andre, they will just win. And obviously Andre... Which... They have a... Uh, some chance of it. They still have, you know, uh, players able to kill skills. Mm. So if they get the lucky, but uh, I think uh, the Dwarves have a lot of guards stand firm there. Yeah, I think the Chaos have got the better team, but... Andre is probably the better player and has Morg. <laughs> yes, yes. Let's not forget Morg with Mighty Blow plus two. Mm. What's Mighty yeah, Blow in case, Spanish? A golpe Mortifero. Oh, wow, I can't even try and say that. <laughs> there used to be Golpe Mortifero, which is more or less Deathly Blow instead of Mighty Blow. <laughs> I think they changed it to Golpe Poderoso. No, I don't know. Well, look, you can see on the right-hand side here, it says, present to us. <laughs> can, can you see that? Yeah, it says, present us. <laughs> That's interesting, isn't it? Yes, yes, present us. Present us. <laughs> That's what you do by um, playing Blood Bowl 3, really. Yeah. Hello, Lod. I mean, the, the players that the Dwarves lost weren't good players, and he doesn't really have many good players, but he does have a lot of guard. So he's got guard and he's got morgue. Um, it seems like he doesn't have a ball carry. It seems like the sneaky git runner is his actual ball carrier. Maybe he's got a real ball carrier behind that we can't see. He can't be fouling with a dirty... Like, he can't be fouling with a sneaky git for his own runner. So there must be a, a good runner that we can't see. Uh, you say... Uh, Sudden and... Uh... I'm not sure about that. He can. He he shouldn't, but uh... <laughs> mm, that's that's three, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There's ten players here, so it must be an eleventh off screen. And there must be. Oh, Morg gets stun. You know, even if he's just making stuns every turn, at least he's making stuns every turn. It does help the drive still. Yeah, there, look, he's got a in movement set, only movement seven runner. Lesionado! <laughs> oh, Magullado, that's badly hard. Ah. I'm guessing. <laughs> no, he goes with the. That's another the runner. Yeah, move seven. Yeah, he had to have a second runner. There's no way he could just be fouling all half and then like not have a real one. <laughs> but um, you know, obviously, he could have easily been movement eight, strength four, or edge two plus. Um, as it is, he's only move seven, but it's still all right. So yeah, big removal. Well, not really that big, but you know, it's big to have a removal. The actual player isn't that good. He's all right. I think the Chaos do have to pile in now, as much as they might not want to. It's just a lack of mighty blow from the Dwarves. And not too much guard. Bigger than the guard is, uh, is more, right? Mm. Maybe wait until the Troll isn't stupid to pile in. Yep, sneaky git runner. I mean, 
pretty much every every team requires a sneaky get dirty player <laughs> and that's how to do it on dwarves Nowadays, yes, sneaky git is mandatory. Mm. Any team, doesn't matter what team do you have, you want to have a sneaky git duty player. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> glorious. Oh, this must be his ball carrier that he's playing on defense, right? He's got blodge, looks like sure hands, and then like two heads and something. It's a bit of a weird player to play on defense. Maybe he should have just not played him on defense. So he could have. He hasn't got any bad players to feed Mold, basically, which is, you know, a bit problematic. But then I guess if you put on your best player, then it gives you more chance to make stop the touchdown. There you go, you reinforce that. Like he really wants to stop the touchdown here if he can, doesn't he? Just win. Yeah, that wins him the game, so yes. Best Andrew can hope for is overtime, so that will change some of his decisions. Maybe you know, like going for maybe his fouls. That I mean, he's, he's going to foul every time because he's got sneaky git. But if there was a time then he wouldn't foul, that would would maybe change because you know he, he can only win if he gets to overtime. It does favour backing a bit more, is what I was trying to say, but it's difficult to talk. <laughs> to hit this warrior I think quite nice that it goes into extra hits it really risks uh, Morg though is the problem now Morg is exposed to claw mighty hits So yeah, it puts the guard in next to him. That solves it, more or less. And also more, doesn't matter if he dies in the last few times. If you you, know, you manage to, oh, but you want to do one over time, you want him for over time. Yeah, yeah, Morg is mm -hmm. in the dwarf team. Yeah, he's pretty, he's pretty much the entire team for the dwarves. <laughs> He is pretty much the entire team. I mean, with the uh, way uh, guard uh, help with fouls, the other top player is the sneaky gay dirty player. That's true, but at least Moog lets him get knockdowns, right? <laughs> that's true, yes, I don't see many... I mean, still has the guard, I still can get, you know, hits uh, here and there, but not big hits. And actually one more every time, I mean, mighty blow plus two. Yeah, exactly. that's that's it's absolutely mental. It's absolutely mental. I mean, whoever thought that, that was a good idea is like, uh, what are you talking about? <laughs> yep. Do you know what's crazy? Oh, I don't know if you can. Uh, I meant to Google. Do you know if you could use vomit on a blitz in Blood Bowl? Um, Blood Bowl 2020. Does anybody know if you can use vomit on a blitz? And also specifically bile rot vomit flesh, right? Bile rot vomit flesh is amazing, right? It can um not in Blood Bowl three, of course, because the special rules of stars don't work in Blood Bowl three. But if he did work, he can he can vomit after making his action. And it said it includes a block, but it doesn't say if it if he can do it after a blitz or not. So I don't know. I, the way it's like you know, it's arguable, but it looks like what Barrot Vomit Flesh can do is he can blitz like a cage corner, and then vomit on the carrier, which is pretty cool. Ooh, mm. that's actually very very interesting. Mm. But you just can't do it in Blood Bowl three because they haven't implemented any of the uh, star players' abilities. Morg actually has a pretty rubbish ability. Morg just uh, Morg helps with a throw teammate, which. You know, most of the teams he's playing for don't give a shit about the throw teammate they care about. 
smashing people to bits with Mighty Blow Plus 2. <laughs> what else is skill? I mean, uh, the fact that he even has another skill is uh, mental. <laughs> yes, yeah. For the price. I mean, he's uh, 360 or 40? Uh, 380 now. He, he was 340 at first. Yeah, 380 now. Still. <laughs> <laughs> Usually vomit if I have. I mean, it will be nice to see the animation of the vomit. Mm. Troll vomit. <laughs> mm. <laughs> One D on Morg. And it's a pathetic push, and it wasn't even from the core, mighty fellow. Defensor. Is that guard? Defensor. Mm. Yes, defense. <laughs> Placage is block. Mm. Maybe he's Moog just hit for the troll. I mean, that's okay for Moog, right? Defenseless. It's really good. You re With Moog, you either want a 2D, a defenseless guy. Or, or 3D, a defenseless guy. Or like a 3D, a block guy, right? Like, but they're the best uses of them. You really do want to be two, like 3 d if at all possible. And blockless if at all possible. So this is pretty decent. Getting to hit the troll with Moog. Can get him. And he's getting frustrated with Morg not killing anything. <laughs> Looking at his face. So that moving, that moving of the mouse, that moving of the mouse. GFI to hit there. That could work. I mean, I still have uh, all the rolls. Double again, going for extra time. And it still has a bribe. Mm. So, yeah, good reason to foul every single time. Yep. But he doesn't go for it. Didn't go for the GFI blitz. He hasn't blitzed, has he? Has he not blitzed this turn? I don't think he's blitzed at all this turn. But ball carrier can blitz. But the problem is, if he pushes him, it means he can't foul. <laughs> but he gets the KO. There you go. Now I need to protect a little, uh, move a square, the... the... On the right on the edge, could just run back a bit. Turn 12, he could just run back. That's the foul in. Nothing. And then he can sneaky get to hold the side a bit. Or, or yeah, they brilliant, isn't it? It's, it's pretty sick, the, the move the move after the foul part of sneaky get. Kill cow. I mean, this is looking tough for uh, tough for uh, Andre, right? Turn twelve, and we could have total. I mean, we're not we're not doing columns, but I think going into columns here would be a pretty good idea. Yeah, you want to keep a uh, 
at least some of the players able to move because the dwarves can go. Yeah, still chaos has more than enough guard. You know, like it's good to hold the center. I just don't think he has to be this like narrow. I think he could put a little bit out the side. Wait, Minotaur, uh, Winotaur 66. Mm. Is running on the ball the entity player than is Nikki in, in which In which one? And running on the ball shouldn't be the first skill or the skill in general. Uh, yeah, the runner has so gone sneaky get first, right? He's gone sneaky get first and then dirty player and then wrestle. Yeah. That's not the main ball carrier. Yeah. Your uh, main ball carrier uh, should have uh, extra movement. Bloch. Yep. And then more stats. <laughs> and then more stats, yes. So he's pushing up this narrow thing. I mean, he shouldn't have left this gap, should he, uh, Checker? Like, he had all of the time, he had all the players. He could have easily just gone full columns. And for some reason, he did leave a gap. Which is a bit shit. Not comfortable for Andre, obviously. But. Still better than a better than it had any right to be. Really, really had to cover that. I mean, a sneaky get dirty player is better than dirty player plus two. Yes, and also death rolls are crap and cost loads of TV. <laughs> but I mean, you could potentially have a sneaky get death roller. It would just take you forever to get. And it would mean you'd have a death roll on your team. <laughs> so yeah, that was re real bad from uh, Jekka to let Andre get that. Muerte! Ed! Dead, dead, dead! <laughs> I regen though. Regeneracion? <laughs> yes, regeneracion, yes, yes. <laughs> Exit or success. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I mean that's way that's way better. I mean, I that's way better than it had any right to be. I mean, good play by Andre taking full advantage of this. You don't need any meat cubing it down here, but I mean, also his opponent should be able to do something right to to get two D on the ball. This one can block him. We've got guards, so we can put guard in here, and then the warrior can punch there. He can punch there, which will chain the uh, runner out, and it's got easy 2D on the ball. So yeah, this is uh, pretty easy for his opponent. Oh no, he's stand firm. He's got to stand firm there. It's not pretty easy, he's got to go the other way. <laughs> he has to go the other way. This guy has to punch him, and then this guy has to punch him and chain the runner in that way. And then out there and then blitz him. That's what he has to do. But it's still pretty easy. Just a little bit harder. Well, it was it was just a mistake from the chaos. It was if the chaos had just like had just screened properly, this wasn't on. But yeah, he needs to uh looks like he's not doing it. I mean he could definitely have chained out the runner to the corner. And then two D blitzed him. I don't know what he's doing now. But yeah, that was a that was a bad mistake from the chaos. Had to have it had to have a proper screen there.
well, this has been pretty terrible from the chaos, hasn't it? He could have easily, he could have just put in this player here, and then had a three plus to hit the ball on two D. There's just all sorts of things he could have done, and it's it's been poor, very very poor. Um, couple of turns from the chaos has basically blown this, but it's not over. Um, still three turns, and he has to get it in somehow. But he's just all oh, rerolls use in the one D. Yeah. Two rerolls used in one turn. Still got three left. <laughs> <laughs> but the same as Andre now. <laughs> mm. <laughs> I I can't make Paul's puzzle. <laughs> I don't know how you do it whatever possible here. <laughs> yeah, it's it's Faulty and Dimmy are the only people who make... Oh, and Bezel on uh, JFW. But usually Faulty or Dimmy will do put up an impromptu poll. Well, I mean, I'm, I'm trying to watch a match and everything, Pogler, and, and trying to cast a match and everything, that's what... <laughs> oh, it's a bit of a dick around to set up a pole. Well, you could just rest your eyes. Yeah, fair, fair. It's, it's pretty grim watching the match, but you know, I'm 100% dedicated. Watching Blood Bowl so you don't have to. <laughs> so yeah, this is this has been you know Artemis would call it the worst play ever, but it's <laughs> it's that's a bit harsh, but it's yeah, it's not being good from the chaos. They, they really, really they, you know, they were in such a dominant position. They just had to screen, and they they let the chaos, they let the dwarves bulldoze down. Yeah. Yeah. No, I, I, I mean, I'm the same. I'm the same. Dude, I'm the same. I, I don't watch Blood Bowl streams anymore. <laughs> I just, I'm usually I'm working. In fact, now I'm doing some work. I mean, well, uh, we do this, so I just. Doing a side looks. <laughs> Glorious. Yeah, no, it's 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 Blood Bowl three is really. really I can see that the, the Spanish translation is not very good. <laughs> Instead of the square, you know, for the squares of the field, the pitch, they have a cell, the translation for cell, which is Oof. not optimal. Oof. Another KO, uh, or in Spanish KO. <laughs> cow. In Spanish is cow. Cow. Okay. But it's KO in English, there you go. Yes, KO in English, yes. Uh, so you guys don't get the loss there. <laughs> and this is nearly guaranteed the uh, overtime. Yeah, yeah. Yep, real, real. Uh, like he had, he made the mistake, but yeah, the the sneaky gate has been a terror, hasn't it? It made a bunch of removals this half, and now it's looking pretty easy. Like you know, all those stuns, but yeah, that was it was a big, big mistake in uh, by the chaos that have let the dwarves through. It's dickhead in Swedish. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I thought in Swedish it was <laughs> No It's not Si <laughs> possession turn over change of the possession of the ball <laughs> Still not Swedish Dickhead <laughs> <laughs> How dare you say such things about my aunt? <laughs> oh man.
you know what? Dimmy streamed today. Um, Elliot streamed today. I'm streaming right now. Dale's in chat. All the five idiots are here. Oh. Well, not all. Four of the five idiots are here. Jack Bull's in Las Vegas. Jack Bull is in Las Vegas? Mm. It's probably on his way back now, actually. What, what he was doing in Las Vegas? Uh, meeting family for Easter. And they go to Vegas? I think his family live in Vegas. All right, they're very interesting. Yeah, okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, God, I'm I'm so excited to play more Five Idiots. <laughs> That's why I just thought I'd say it. I just I just really want to play more. It was really good the firing squad last session. I really enjoyed that. <laughs> oh, Legionado! Oh. That's a great grab. It's a serious injury. Ah. That's a, a 12 on the 16. So I think he's missing next game. Oof. And nothing happens thanks to Sneaky Git again. Yep. Yep. This is a good advert for Sneaky Git, isn't it? With the uh, all the fouls he's done. Never been caught. Immune, immune to gym fouls. Sneaky yeah. hits makes you immune to gym fouls. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, immunity gym fouls. And also the movement after, like, you've done lots of movements after as well. Super good. Well, uh, turn 15 means that we are going to overtime nearly certainly. <laughs> Findel Turno. I wonder what that means. <laughs> Interpret what's happening in the pitch because it's impossible to watch. Way, <laughs> very good. It's it's not easy, is it? Yeah, the runner's done a lot of movement. Yeah, it's really good, isn't it? Move in, foul, move out. It really is. It does get to maximise its movement, doesn't it? It's you know, one of the one of the maybe more subtle uh, properties of sneaky git. You know, everyone can work out that it lets you foul a lot and destroy teams but you know the uh, the hit and run aspect of it is very nice could 3D this warrior I think 3D in the warrior is probably better look at this you see oh, okay so he's, he's 2Ding him into the 3D oh Beautiful, the beautiful cars. You could have just 3D directly with Moog, but hey. <laughs> well, I guess this way he gets to foul him as well, right? <coughs> this way he gets to foul him with loads of guard assists. What? He's not blocking with Moog? Oh, you loser. No offence to Andre. <laughs> but it was only about one in four hundred and thirty chance of uh, of failing the three D. Wow. Wow. Chicken indeed. I'm not maximizing the use of uh, Morgan Thor. Mm. Tragedy. You paid good money for that. <laughs> it was three dicing a claw mighty block guard warrior I think you've got to do that yeah. so you know guys if you want to uh, qualify for uh, any next edition of the CCL Blue Bowl 3 always have in the bank at least, at least half a million <laughs> so you can have Morg every game <laughs> yeah. and so you can stop people getting Morg right that's, that's important if you're 400 TV up against somebody who knows how to play you can buy more to make sure they can't get him. Because there can be more than one copy of the same star. Mm. So the overdog, which is the one that picks first, buys more and that's it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now the lower team has to get more to not get more. <laughs> Wait, who picks first? The underdog or the overdog? Uh, it's simultaneous, but if like... If they both get the same guy, he plays for neither. 
that's it. So if they, if if they both pay for Morg, he just takes six hundred and eighty pound and goes home. <laughs> well, no, seven hundred and sixty pound and just seven hundred and sixty. And, and but the uh, less the uh, remember the fact that that's the rules of Blue Ball Three or Blue Ball Twenty Twenty. Ah, uh, true, true. Yeah, Blood, that's Blood Bowl twenty twenty. So God knows what happens in Blood Bowl three. Good point. <laughs> Change of weather. Uh, I think that's uh, very sunny. Yep. That's a pump pump the jam. That reminds me of the videos of uh, uh, Philomena Kank. KO. Anyway, uh, KO. Anyway, the simultaneous in Blood Bowl 2020, which makes is very weird because you are playing against another human being. So I don't know. All right. So in Blood Bowl 2020, they have FAQ'd it and they've changed All it. Right. But in the rule book, this is a faithful adaptation of the rule book in Blood Bowl 3. However, there has been an FAQ since the rule book. In tabletop, so that now the the higher TV team, um, if it overdogs, the underdog gets that extra money, and the overdog picks first, and the underdog cannot scum at all. So you cannot put any money from treasury at all if you're underdog. So if you're the un if you're the overdog, then you can like sculpt the inducements uh, to your liking, which is. So you are the overdog, the overdog can get uh, more, the underdog can't get more. Um no they can't, but I mean they would they would at least get they would at least get him for free. So you 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 know you would be paying that three hundred and eighty to stop him. Um in the in the FAQ'd version. But like what you could do is if like you know, say you're a hundred and a hundred say you're ninety T V above your opponent, you could just get fifty, like you could get a babe or whatever. And they would only get 140. They couldn't put in the 10 to get the wizard in the tabletop now. <laughs> Jesus, that's even worse. Yep. Yep. So in ways it is, but at, le at least at least you get something like it. But it, it will it will mean that in like tournaments or whatever, you would like the it gives all the power to the higher TV team, right? So they would just try and get 140 TV over your opponent, perfect amount, so they can't get a wizard. Or 90, so they can't get a bribe. Or whatever. Oh, oh, <laughs> oh. Or three hundred and seventy, so they can't get Morg. <laughs> Things like that. All right, so Andrew wins the toss, and he's up against uh, only ten players now from the chaos. And he still I has think that. That should be the case, uh, Johnny Five. You know, give the advantage to the underdog because it's the underdog. <laughs> I mean, I guess you could do that. But then obviously nobody would do it if they had to go first, so it doesn't really work, does it? Exactly. So, you know, the overdog. Uh, can get some stuff, but sensible stuff, not the uh, bloody morgue and cancelling the morgue for yeah. the other coach. Yeah. It's funny, right? Because obviously in tabletop, you want the people who to develop their teams to feel like it's good that they've developed their teams, but then you don't want them to run away and make the rest of the league pointless. So it, it's it's super interesting. Lesionado! Oh, there you go. Mark pays dividends. Mm. Give them a frog. I remember the good old days of third or fourth edition. You could have different copies of the same style. You just needed to change the name. Yeah, yeah. Instead yeah. of Morgan Thor, you could have, you know, Morgan Thor, Borg and Thor, Dork and Thor. <laughs> yeah, it, it was, yeah, third edition. They, they just, they just represented like a star player, like just an ogre, right? He was basically they said like this is just an ogre, 
And so if you want ogres on your team, get Morgan Thorg, and that's like an ogre. And like, you know, Griff or Wall can just be like a superstar blitzy man who runs around a lot, you know. Uh, what's he called? Count Luther von Drakenborg was just a vampire. Uh, exactly. You know. That was all vampires were like going Count Luther because he was the only vampire. Yeah, yeah. Uh, what's it called? Thark the Unstoppable was just a bull centaur. Those were the days. Uh, more certainly, those were the days. <laughs> yes, the cutscene injuries are fantastic. The Lesionado screens. Yeah, are yeah, yeah. Those are, uh, yeah. Nicolo Cage. Yes, because he's making a new movie. It's uh, Dracula, Nicolas Cage. There mm -hmm. you go. Mm. Being a vampire again after decades of the last movie, he was a vampire. <laughs> a vampire again. See, so yeah, I just gone for the 3D for Morg. Highest chance of doing something. Another big gang foul. Quite easy to remove two players this turn. Again, the chaos played quite timidly, right? All game. They, yes, they really I think it was they were uh, scared, and they're paying the price. Mm. Which is a thing you can never do when you are a chaos team. Come on and be scared. <laughs> And then assisting with Morg as well. Huge gang foul. KO. Now you can go back and be a cage corner. Lovely. Pretty nice, isn't it? Pretty nice, the uh, sneaky kick. Yeah, this has been a bit of a shame in a way, like the Chaos, like they had such a good chance to win and they've, they've kind of, you know, that couple of bad turns of defence has cost them a lot and now the sneaky git is taking over. But it, again, he had, to, he had to play more rowdy when he had the players, I think. Or screen properly, one of the two. <laughs> Maybe the sneaky hit is really good because before when you were a foul at least you had to stay in the square. Mm -hmm. Now you can foul and run away. Yeah. And guard assists as well, of course, like that makes dwarves like better at fouling than <laughs> than they've any right to be, you know. You don't even have to like give up position to get a big gang foul and stuff. You you can just have all of your guys in tackle zones with guard and then just go, Oh well I'll just sneak in. Sneaky git, bam, three assist foul, and then run away again, like it's crazy. Is he going to hit this warrior? I'm sure he wants to hit this warrior. But uh, it's not easy to foul him as well. <laughs> Not blitzing with Morg. Outrageous. That would have been a 3D with Morg, just quietly. <laughs> the problem is it would leave him a bit... Uh, leave him a bit exposed, wouldn't it? It would been tricky. Tricky to get Morg in there. So... And he's got plenty of time, hasn't he? Yes. I thought you could move people while things are moving. I wonder if that's just like 
habit from playing Blood Bowl 2 that Andrew was waiting for him to move there until he moved the next one. Because I'm sure you could move them while the other ones were moving. I'm sure that was a thing in the beta. I, I, I really haven't played much Blood Bowl 3 myself. <laughs> but like, I'm sure that like that was weird, right? Waiting all that time. I'm pretty sure you could, you could have moved it while it was moving still. Yeah, down to eight players for the chaos. Still five turns for the dwarves. Of course, this isn't. Uh, this is a full half. There's no uh, sudden death, so it makes sense. Obviously, that he stalls it out here and doesn't, you know, take the space uh, before he has to. Claw Mighty has been outshined by the Sneaky Git somewhat this game, hasn't it? Big time. Mm. <laughs> Pedro. There are two more in this round, and then there have been all four quarterfinals have taken place. I'd have loved it if he got instantly sent off there after after, after the other sneaky kid had like you know fouled the entire game. Yes. <laughs> In his first I one mean, being sent off. Andrea hasn't even used the bribe. Did he need to? Yeah. It can't split the mighty blood plus two, no, Pedro. Um you can split with the special ability of like Zug and Varag. Where they get, and there's some other ones as well, where they get like, um, where they get a plus one special, obviously not in Blood Bowl 3, because uh, Blood Bowl 3 is a 100% faithful reproduction of the rules, only sometimes. <laughs> but uh, yeah, if you use the special ability, then you could split, they, they get plus one to armor injury once per game. So like, Sug. One game could get plus one on armor and then plus one on injury, um, or he could just get plus two to injury. So, so there you go. Yes, it's a hundred percent faithful re representation. About seventy percent of it. It is really shocking that they they said it, you know they they had activations because it was going to be faithful to the board game, and then obviously loads of it isn't. No redrafts, no expensive mistakes, no special abilities on stars, no multiple block, no. Lots yeah, of it was. Players. There were a lot of things that were saying. Yeah. They also said better admin tools, and we're aware of how important leagues are. There'll be better admin tools than Blood Bowl 2 from launch, and then it's literally impossible to have a competition. That's why these are friendlies. They cannot have a competition in the game. <laughs> oh, he's thinking out of the reroller. Mm. Thank you, Sun Slyker. Sun Slyker. <laughs> yeah, that's fair, Pogba. There really is. That was his good guy laugh. <laughs> yeah, it's true. I'm, I'm, I'm a lovely person. I'm not evil at all. If I'm here, can confirm he's met me in real yes, life. Yes, I can confirm. I've seen him in real life. Yes. 
Is a real person, no artificial intelligence? <laughs> I mean, no intelligence of any kind. <laughs> artificial or not. <laughs> The first four years of Counter Strike was just me pottering around on a map by my hand. Brilliant. No multi block. Yeah, I mean, no multi block. It kind of is insane in a way, right? Like, it's one of the skills. Like, look, okay, it's a useless skill, but, like, the fact they just haven't bothered because it was difficult is outrageous, isn't it? Like, it kind of is. Even though it doesn't yes. matter. But it's it's a, one of the things that is like. Wait, what? Yeah. Like, it's literally, we're not good enough to make this video game, is, is what they're saying, isn't it? It's just literally what they're saying. We don't know how to make video games that work. <laughs> and where is supposed to start the season one next uh, month? Yeah, the 25th, I think. 25th of May. Mm. Long time. Yep. A bit greedy here. I, I liked it though, you know, the 2D blitz with Morgan, the higher value player, and then the 2D with the other guy. Of course, he could have just uh, blitzed the other guy and the three dice with Morg, but I do I do prefer this way. I like the dodge as well to protect Morg. Yep, not the best turn ever. Might get him into trouble. Looking at the dice log, mourning about the dice, probably. <laughs> probably is, probably you can. Uh, we can get a two dice on Morg here. It takes like most of his team, but it's probably a good idea. You know, probably would like to have done it. You know, about thirty turns ago. <laughs> but um, yeah. I'm going to grab some water and I'll be back in a second. Okay, okay. Yeah, I wonder how, I wonder how ironically uh, <laughs> the cyanide are named. <laughs> Come on, just three dice Morg. They are French, yep. Like he has to he has to two D Morg this. Oh he's taking all this time. <laughs> You're two dicing Morg, mate. Just stick him in and do it. Go, nothing. Reroll. Yep, <laughs> a new reroll as well. <laughs> well, bit unlucky there. But again, you just took him too long, right, Mikey? You should have done that earlier. <laughs> the boomer um yeah I think what you're seeing there could be a red herring Tricky for Andre still. He's doing quite well here with eight players. Is a uh, checker. Let's see, I'm looking not to wreck Morg there. Diced. He has moved seven though, so he, and you know I guess he's not going to care too much about giving the case a two two turn. Like 
he'll still store out if he can. Which is looking pretty good too. All right. Hello. Hello. <laughs> Fans of la lucha libre. <laughs> <laughs> it is coming back soon. Yes, indeed it is. Just as soon as I make about 50 wrestlers. Um, overtime is not golden goal anymore, correct, Abim? It is not golden goal, it is a full half. There is also no kequity. If the score is tied at the end of the extra half, it is a straight roll off. Another foul. The ultimate jobber. I'll have you know I'm a, I'm a fantastic wrestler. Jimmy the King. I will rule you! <laughs> now, there is something that the chaos uh, can do here, more or less. Not a lot. <laughs> not, not a lot. They have some hits, but the uh, that yeah. hit on Morg has meant that they've got five players in the middle, and you know Andre's got seven players over in one sideline. So yeah, it gets pretty tough for them. He's all screening. If only he'd done that in the first half. Yeah, he probably does have to dodge that guy off. He didn't reroll what? Well, he didn't reroll. Oh, he did reroll. It just took a while to update. Yeah, he did reroll and it failed. It's probably safe at not blitz with more, right? Uh, like, yeah, just blitz with somebody else and then come through to here. Like, it's efficient to just bl like blitz with Morg or block with Morg, see what happens. But yeah, you'd feel pretty sad if it didn't work. Whew, he gets away with it. He gets away with that. Funny that he wouldn't block on the 1 in 400 chance, but he went with the 1 in 36 chance there. Careful here. Next turn is the last turn, so. Mm -hmm. nice and easy for him, right? Yeah. But I think it would have been it would have it would have definitely been safe if it would have just blitzed the beast man. Or the warrior, like either way. Now the cage can be compromised. I mean, he does have the blitz, right? So it should be all right. But he does need the, you know, he just needs a push. Yeah, he just needs a push. Yeah, the one in nine. He's got a reroll if he won in nine. But he didn't want in nine, so he's fine. Yeah, he could have just started with a blitz. I think it was probably better to start with a blitz. And then if he doesn't get, you know, like... Because he could have blitzed from, from the side. Like, he could have put this guy in. No, he couldn't. He could have put a guy in here. And then blitz from the side. And then... You know, obviously, if he, gets, if he doesn't get the push, then he's got mold to, to try and power. I don't know. I think that's better. Maybe this was better. I don't know. But he secured the Quatrex, he has, yeah, he has secured. I, I didn't like opening with a 1 in 36 fail. But, 
Well, more like 1 in 72, right? Because it's got 4 plus low. Now. So it's a close to 1 in 72 fail. But, um... Oh, Davis Carls. Without re rolls. Dice. So that could have been Morg. See, that could have been Morg. Um, well, there you go. There's the turnover, and there is the game. Not technically not over yet because there is the twenty fourth turn of Jacob, but you know, Andre has won barring a riot, um, pretty much. Um, sometimes win at all. So like, if there was redraft, there wouldn't be defensive. I you know I wrote off defensive as a skill because of redraft, but if you don't have redraft, then all of the big bash teams will take it eventually, and all of the big elf teams eventually. Uh, no, I mean the Chaos aren't going to score a one turn, but they could get a two turn with a riot. So there, there is a chance. Not much of a chance, but there is a chance. Don't say it's over. Super exciting. <laughs> I'll kill the defensive American is guard the spam. No. No. And I know that a uh, quick snap. Mm, he's going to turn. And that's it, and that's the game. Because there is no point of uh, playing the down. No, there's no XP. There's no permanent injuries. This is just wasting the life of Jekka and Andre, and now all of us. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to increase his uh, amount of time in Chalice, you know, minutes played. Yes, yeah, maybe. Money in the banana stand. Hmm. Well, there you go. That is it. And uh, there you go. 2-1 two, two, winner for Andre. The Little Dwarves versus the Big Chaos. Um, yep, Sneaky Git was pretty influential in that match. And Morg, you know, he didn't he didn't make a ton of removals, but he made, he made consistent stuns. And, uh, you know, he was able to get two Ds and three Ds, you know, Easily without support and stuff, it's pretty pretty strong. So there you go. Congratulations to Andre, commiserations to Jekka, and thank you very much, Fimeer, for joining. always a pleasure uh, to be here. And I hope our viewers in Brunei, if the Sultanate uh, wants to reward us with some kind of uh, prize or gift, we are very welcoming to the you know uh, to the Brunei overlords. Correct. <laughs> Thanks for watching, everyone. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe, and stay fantastic.